Hey, what's going on, friends and family of YouTube? So today, as stated in my previous video, we got the intercooler from Zach. It's all Cerakoted and nice. And I also got some Mishimoto hoses that we're going to uh, put for the blow valve, the turbo, and the uh, inlet, throttle body inlet. So let me get to that. I'm also going to rearrange the new blow valve I put on. I haven't even got a chance to test it on the road yet just because the roads are so bad. So hopefully when I put all this stuff on, the roads will be frozen again and I can drive this thing, but without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, so I took the PCV hard pipe off and sure enough, look at that gunk. It's absolutely disgusting in there. I'm gonna have to clean this out like I did on my blob eye real nice. It's gonna take me a little bit, so I'm gonna start that process tonight. <sighs> lovely, lovely Subaru PCV systems. All right, so here's the new intercooler. Well, not new, but uh, Cerakoted intercooler. You can see it's all beautiful. The pipes on the back are all done. So this should help with extracting heat. There's the old one. This thing was full of oil. Um, more so than my blob eye, I think, when I first got it. So I just cleaned it all up. You can see it like dripped right there. So it might be turbo seals, uh, might be a clogged PCV system because this was all clogged up the metal tube. And then it was pushing it all through that secondary PCV system down there. So I'm hoping that's the case. Um, these cars have a really bad PCV system as it gets older and people don't maintain it. So I have another video on my channel that shows that. But uh, I'm gonna start dressing this thing up with everything. I'm not gonna put all the Mishimoto stuff off, on yet and that's because I don't trust touching the factory turbo inlet without having one here. So I'll probably order one to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna order a turbo inlet. <laughs> call it a day but i am going to use the one that goes here um yeah and i'll probably use the j pipe when the inlet comes as well and i don't know if i'm going to install the beat rush thing just yet i'm not sure so we're going to hold off on that all right y'all so it's in turbo is way cleaner everything's way cleaner ball valve is installed properly but it's still hitting the pcv pipe so, I don't think it would make a difference with the Turbo Smart in there or not. I may be wrong, but um, I mean, this just will not bolt down into place unless I cut the horn or maybe just run some, some hose myself with some fittings, some half inch hose, so I might do that but I'm gonna keep you guys posted for sure. I'm not gonna end the video here just yet because I do wanna finish that. I am, however, going to sell my Mishimoto kit just because it's it's meant for a GDB 04 to 07. So I'm not gonna cut it up. Oh, come on, phone. Yeah, I'm not gonna cut it up and make it fit mine. I'm just gonna sell this and I might sell my beat rush thing. I'm not too sure yet. But uh, I'm super glad that that went in nice and I was able to clean everything up. So uh, let's see what we can figure out with the PCV. Hey, what's up everybody? I didn't come prepared, so I'm gonna see if you guys can hear the wall valve. So I can definitely hear it, but it's not something that uh, is like life-changing by any means. It's basically just a, come on camera, focus. It's basically just a louder version of the uh, factory blow up valve with the air filter in it. So I think I'm actually gonna revert back to my factory blow up valve setup, but I am headed to uh, Princess Auto right now to buy the to buy the um, PCV right angle fitting and stuff like that so just FYI I'll show you guys when I get back home 
So essentially, we're gonna replace this hard pipe because it's all gunked up with just a simple hose, T fitting, and a right angle fitting up there. And I'm gonna replace the blow off valve back to factory. I actually like this setup, but there's just something in the back of my head it's telling me to put the factory one back on. So I'm gonna clean it up, throw it on, and probably sell this thing. It actually seals pretty good. It doesn't leak and it's not even on the hardest setting. Um, it holds 15 pounds of boost, so, so far so good with it. All right, so I cleaned up the factory blow off valve. It's looking like really nice, uh, almost brand new. I'm not done yet. I still have to put some solvent on it. Uh, this is the factory gasket I will be using. I'll be taking the one out of the STI, putting it in this box with the, the aftermarket blow off valve. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna start tackling the, uh, the PCV pipes. All right, so there's the factory blow off valve in position. Some of you may ask, well, why did you buy an aftermarket blow off valve and go back to the factory one? And I bought a cheaper blow off valve for this exact reason. I didn't wanna spend five, 600 bucks and sit on the damn thing. If I didn't, it's not that I don't like it. I just don't think um, it's the, the psh sound is worth my car um, running. I don't want to say not properly, but uh, it's running rich after every shift because of the tune. It would be a totally different story if this wasn't math based. But I just don't, you know, I see, I see why people like it. And, uh, you know, I do like the sound. I just don't find it, you know... I think it's, I don't think it's better than this one because this one you can hear with the AEM. Um, so just due to that, I mean, why not just run the factory blow off valve? Of course, this is my opinion. I'm gonna sell this to someone who wants to hear their blow off valve, which is fine, you know, like that's that's all good and dandy. I just, I think it's not worth the, the trouble of, uh, you know, not fitting maybe just perfectly, even though I'm doing this whole, the only thing it wasn't really fitting against was a PCB pipe. I'm redoing that anyway, because my pipe is totally gunked. But um, I just don't, I just like the factory one. It just, everything fits the way it should. So that's why I'm going with it. The aftermarket one is totally fine. I could have kept it on here. It would have been great. I just didn't think the sound after every shift was better than my car running right after every shift, if you know what I'm saying. So that's just me. Um, nothing against it though, it actually worked really well and I recommend that $60 blow off valve to anyone who wants an aftermarket one because test it before you go out and buy a really, really, really good one. It just make sure it's one that works and doesn't leak. So without further ado, I'm going to redo the PCV right now. All right, so look how nice that looks compared to the rusty metal tubes. That looks really good, and it's a very, very high quality hose from Mishimoto. It is half inch, comes with clips. That's the part number right there. I'll put a link in the description. Super good hose, I've been looking for something like this. It's just too bad they didn't send you just a little bit longer. Uh, I don't know if it's expensive or going right. Every time I go and get hoses, it's kind of expensive. This was like 22 bucks Canadian shipped. So use that information however you see fit. But I'm gonna have to uh, reuse this and I didn't want to. Reason being is I didn't, I got a 3 8 um, adapter instead of a half inch. But this will eventually go there and complete the whole setup and you won't even notice. Well, you'll probably notice because it looks a lot better than factory, so. I'm super stoked. Worked out exactly how I wanted it to. Blow off valve looks great. Intercooler, the coated intercooler. Oh, it's amazing. I took this thing out. Uh, I was driving around for about an hour. Uh, I was driving it hard too, because I wanted to test everything. I came back, engine bay was hot. The intercooler was literally cold. And I'm pretty sure that coating had something to do with it. The fins were warm, like not warm, but like warmer to the touch. Everything that was coated with Cerakoting was cold. So I th I'm pretty sure that that's doing its job. I have no scientific imperial evidence, but just from, uh, you know, touching it, I think it's doing its job. So I'm gonna go zip tie this down. The car's done for now until I get the other um, uh, hose 
uh, adapter here. So uh, let me go finish up. All right, guys, she's done. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're having trouble with your PCV system, think about this as an alternative. Now this is brand new, no gunky stuff in there. I could probably trim that hose a bit. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with the way it looks and it'll perform better, obviously, because it's not clogged. It looks pretty good. And yeah, I'm gonna replace this, make it the same hose as this one up here. And if you're thinking of Cerakoting your intercooler, I highly recommend it. Tyler's talking about doing it to his STI as well. So um, I think I'm gonna conclude the video here. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, check out other videos on the channel. Lots of stuff going on, just like this. Uh, I got my fair lady on the way, so there's gonna be lots of videos on that. And if you like this sort of thing, think about subscribing. All right, everybody, peace.